and address study parameters of C. So there are certain inclusion and exclusion criteria. So basically, women between 18 and 45, all of them who were pregnant and in the first trimester were included. The consent was sought from the patient, and women who were willing to provide written authorization were included in the study. Exclusion criteria included chronic diseases like cardiac hepatic disorder, eating disorder, respiratory, systemic infections, and physical and mental impairment, and history of non thyroid militancy and medication for hypothyroidism, etc., were also considered as exclusion criteria. So the results were, in a way, they were interesting. The mean age of the women was, as is the reproductive age in Pakistan, most of the women were around 27 years of age, plus and minus 5 years. Nearly 29% of these women were overweight and 13% were obese. And this also actually matches the Pakistan Demographic and Health Survey, which so shows similar figures of overweight and obesity for non-pregnant females. So 19% of the women out of these had a history of miscarriage and 5% had a history of irregular menstrual cycles. First slide, Leah, then they... Now, 90% of these women were actually in thyroid, while 1.6% had newly diagnosed subclinical hypothyroidism. The rest of the women Thank were you. hypothyroid, hypothyroidism 1.2% and poor hypothyroidism around 1%. But the sad fact was that many of the women who already knew that they had hypothyroidism were receiving inadequate doses of thyroid replacement therapy, putting themselves and the babies at risk. And these were around 33% of the ladies. Now, the, the association between BMI and the subclinical hypothyroidism was not statistically significant, nor you could find any significant association between patients with and without subclinical hypothyroidism in terms of age, dyslipidemia, miscarriages, cycle regularity, and infertility. Uh, so out of the study, we concluded that the frequency of undiagnosed subclinical hypothyroidism was 1.6%. And I always say when I talk about these low prevalences that it is only 1.6% and many of the gynecologists sitting here would think that if the incidence is only 1.6%, do we really need to be worried about it? But my answer to your question is that Pakistan is the fifth most populous country in the world. So in terms of figures, if you convert those 1.6% pregnant ladies, it's a huge population that we are talking about. So the rate of uncontrolled hypothyroidism was high, which raises an alarm of potential risk of untreated thyroid disorders. We could not